What up, everyone, and, uh, I think I should close my window for this, just so I don't, uh, you know, uh, we're gonna be talking about the results slash wild cards. I'm not gonna eat a worm, I, I've been yelling about that, but I'm tired right now, it's like one in the morning almost. Uh, no, not one in the morning, it's like one in the afternoon, I, like, just woke up because of how much I broke, I went to, like, a boxing arena, no, I'm joking. Uh, but, basically, uh, I'm really upset, but I just gotta look up the, uh, what happened in the website, cause I know what already happened, I just need to be able to know what happened, you know what I mean. Basically, episode 16. Okay, so the first group was, uh, Emiro and Daryl, Dom the Bombs, Triple Threat, and Extreme Dance Company. And, no duh, because America doesn't like me, <laughs> they voted through Emiro and Daryl. And I, they bet, I was ranting uh, so much terribly after this, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna abuse this. So much. I just didn't like the performance. They're very good at what they do. I don't know how you can play the cello with rock music. And I don't know what I was hearing in their performance if that was the cello or the guitar. That's just why. Just have them perform. No extra rock music. That's all I have to say about them. Uh, second was Jonah Smith. I was actually surprised because, uh, I'm gonna go back to Extreme for a second. Um, Howard said that they weren't so memorable and they'd be like, um, one of those just, like, acts that aren't remembered. I would have thought that was Jonah as well because Jonah was so early in the night. I was shocked that he went through, but I'm happy that he went through. I, 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 I appreciate that at least one, that one good singer out of the two that also went through. Actually, all three freaking singers went through. Just kind of stupid, but <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, uh, let's see, right here. There we go. Uh, Bad Boys in Ballet and no, not wait. Oh no, they they were in group two. Oh yeah, and uh, Jonah went through over Bad Boys of Ballet, and Bad Boys of Ballet are going to the semifinals because of uh. Mel B picking him as a wild card. Now I was actually pick. I was kind of um. I was really weirded out by that because they did have a good performance, and I think Mel B wasted a wild card spot. But we're gonna talk about that, that a little later on, so you better stay tuned. All right, Mothman versus Quintavious. This probably pissed me off the most in the night. Quintavious made it through. Over Mothman. You have to think about what's... You have to think about, uh, what the winner gets. This is what's stupid about the show, and I don't want to rant, because my throat got sore from last night. And, uh, on, on Tuesday during the performances, Quintavious is too young. I don't think he should be able to perform on the last big stage, because the, this is what the winner gets. That's what you have to talk about. You the winner gets a, a Las Vegas. The, here, let's see. America's Got Talent is an American reality TV series on NBC Television Network. It it's a talent show that features singers, dancers, magicians, and comedians, and other performers of all ages competing for the top advertised top prize of e, U.S. one million dollars. And the show debuted, I don't know, whoops. But yeah, the winner gets like a show in Las Vegas. He's too young. I think he's too young to per be f performing in Las Vegas. Who knows what he'll do over his mom's like back. He'll probably like go to a strip club and he's too young to do that. That's why you need a certain age limit. That's what I think. They should be having age limits. Because I think you have to be like at least old enough to go to a strip club. 
because that's where you're most likely gonna perform near a strip club or maybe like halfway through in a strip club, maybe. So that's why I think older people should be playing this instead of little children. And I will be. I'm just annoyed that he went through over Mothman. But I'm not gonna rant. I, I just think the. The America votes sketchy and they vote on who had the best performance of the night. They should be. They should be voting on who will fit a Las Vegas stage. A small Las Vegas stage. You have to think about that. Everyone who performed tonight fit a small Las Vegas stage, except for the one voice children's choir. They have a hundred people. I don't think that would fit that small stage, but I haven't been that close. I've been always up at, like, the top of the balcony, so it looks small to me, so. Uh, the only act I wanted to go through tonight, well, last night, <coughs> uh, Smoothie, but he went through over Jonathan Raquel May, and I was angry because Jonathan actually did better than uh, Smoothini, but I'm happy that Smoothini went through because Mike Super also went through, and we'll talk about that later. We'll talk. We're talking about the wild cards after we talk about what just happened. Um, after this, uh, Nina was eliminated because the last group was a uh, Kelly, One Voice Children's Choir, which I don't know why everyone loved them, and um, Nina were they were all in the final three of that event. Um. I think they should have added that new voting thing, because they actually are talking about, like, this new voting thing, where you can vote during the show, because your act is in trouble. I would like that, because I would have voted for Jonathan, Extreme, and Mothman, and Nina, again. Because of, uh, like, Quintavious going through, and the other people going through like that, it's kind of, it kind of angered me, but YOLO. You know what, YOLO. I mean... <sighs> okay, so Nina was eliminated by America's Vote, and then we had a uh, Kelly versus One Voice Children's Choir. I would rather prefer Kelly going in to the semifinals over that stupid song. I, God, that song annoyed the piss out of me. Ah, uh, congratulations to all the performers, but I, I, I'm happy that they're going. I that song annoyed the piss out of me. Oh, man, my head. Um. I'm very happy. Now, the reason why, after this, the judges on Twitter announced uh, their uh, wild cards. And I'll actually also announce them right here. Uh, let's see. We got... We got, um, Mel B picking Bad Boys of Ballet, and we got the best of the best coming out. Mel B picked the worst out of them. No offense to them, they're really talented, but I don't think they deserved a spot in the semifinals. But they are talented, very, 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 very talented. But, but, oh, Ariana Grande is performing at the result show in the semifinals. <laughs> Okay, we got the we got the full on wild cards. Let's see. The photos on Twitter. Wait, I'm gonna open the images and new tabs. I already know who the wild cards are and I'll announce them each time. We already know about Bad Boys of Ballet. I was shocked that they went through. But well not well deserving, but they're great. But uh, we're gonna go from worst picks for me, no offense, they are, like, the most of <laughs> that, that looks like she's naked, but whatever, uh, Heidi picked, uh, Flight Crew Jump Rope, and I was actually surprised that, uh, Mel B didn't pick them, but I think, uh, Heidi got the first choice, but, yellow, yeah, <laughs> um, but if Mel B would've picked that, I think, I don't know wh who she would've picked. I would have actually like to see uh, Mel pick Flight Crew because they said it was off the chain and they didn't go through. But ha after that, I, I, I just cried of happiness because 
the next two acts that went through, the men always get it right, apparently. They know talent, because Wendy Liebman is in the semifinals by Howie's pick, and I knew he would do that. And also, Howie, I was, I was so scared that he was going to pick Juan Carlos, but I'm so happy he didn't, because he picked Mike Super, and I'm, I'm, I'm voting for him no matter what. All ten of my votes might actually go to him, depending on the, the night that he's on. Right now, he has the most votes that I'm going to give him. But, you know what? The wild cards are the best thing that happened in America's Got Talent tonight. Well, tonight, not tonight. This week. And I hope that Mike Super performs uh, this week. Just, just because um, I want two magicians... To perform in the first week and two magicians to perform. I always say magicians. No, Mike Super's a mystifier. Definitely a mystifier. I want two of each um, magician slash mystifiers to be on the same day because it would make it a little more uh, flammable. Because then uh, one or maybe all four can make it into the um, top twelve and. It, it, it's got to be the year of magic. I'm sick of the singer winning. We all know why I hate singers, and most it's just mostly because they have like friggin' 16 other shows to go on. But I like most of the singers. I like Emily West out of them all. And you know, what? I oh, we're also gonna talk about the performances that happened during the <laughs> during the <laughs> night, <laughs> the results night. Taylor was so funny how he was racist to, like, Japanese dancers. It, I, I nearly pissed myself. And the illusionists were, uh, fantastic. I, I'll have to just say that. But now, um, I think I'm done here. Yeah, I'm done here. And I'm just gonna end it. I'm, I'm I was pissed with the results. But you know what? I picked the best best, I mean the best wild cards. Good for Bad Boys of Ballet. I don't think they were the best act of the night ever. <laughs> I don't know why they would have been picked, but they were good. I don't think they deserved that, but I, 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 I don't know how to say it in a good way. But, uh, I don't know how to say it in a good way. Uh, I just don't think they deserved it over some of the acts that I like, but this is just basing off of what I liked. I kind of liked them. Actually, um, you know what? Actually, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Y'all, since it's the end of the quarterfinals, I'm going to put a list up of all the quarterfinalists. I'm going to do the same thing that I did last, uh, for the last video. Of, from the top of 1 to 48. Whoever gets 48th place was probably like the worst act on, uh, in the quarterfinals. Which is probably gonna be that choir, no offense. And also, I'm gonna do it, bef like, before their, uh, quarterfinals performances and after their performance. And who deserved a spot, maybe? And that didn't go in, maybe? Uh, Maybe, yeah. Maybe I should do it. Should I? Yeah. I don't know. YOLO, right? But, congratulations to Bad Boys Ballet and Flight Crew. But I'm so freaking happy and I cannot wait to see them in the semifinals to Wendy and Mike. They were well deserving of the spot. They just got, they were on the right, the wrong sh part of the show. Because it was so good at that time. I'm so happy. Yeah. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. Bye. I'll see you next week. And enjoy the little list of people I've put down. The top 48 of uh, acts that I think deserve to go through. No. Top 48. Of what I liked before they performed in the quarterfinals. And who I liked after. I'll see you later. 
And also, oh, actually, one more thing, one more thing. Uh, I have a little bracket under some of the acts because that just means I did not see their uh, original performance. And if I didn't, that means they're on the bottom of the list. But it doesn't mean that they're a bad act. Just think about that. That, that doesn't mean they're an extremely stupid act. I, I just didn't see their first performance. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I, I'll see you guys in the, the next video. Um, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I don't have to eat a worm. Bye!